So now you guys are supposed to link lists and got all confused on when to use what. So let me help you real quick. Let me start by saying that cases where you will feel the need to implement your link list and use it is pretty low, especially if you are developing in the front end. When you go through my videos on implementing its various types, you get exposed to so many strategies and approaches that you don't normally have to think about. And that is a great thing to know about, so learning linked lists is definitely worth it. I bet you already are using something that may be using a linked list under the hood to solve many issues. Inserting and removing items from linked lists is way faster. Finding item at a specific index? Mm, Array will take the win because Array is excellent at random read and write. Where linked lists, you must always start from the head until you find your element. I started using linked lists whenever all I am doing is inserting and removing items from the list, especially for backhand. And a lot of methods you find in arrays are easy to implement in linked lists. The speed is much noticeable when you are working with huge lists, which is something you usually do nowadays. Another thing that makes it hard to work with linked lists is that Array is a preferred data structure by so many popular frameworks and libraries like Angular, React, and Vue. So situations where you will use it in the front end will be rare along with many other data structures like stacks and queues. Developers normally just use Arrays to mimic these other data structures' behaviors. Arrays are better for caching and the need to cache your data comes up very often. This is because linked list items can be anywhere in the memory. Also, linked list takes extra memory due to the need of storing the items pointers as well. So to resume it all, use linked list when you are constantly inserting and removing items from anywhere in the list without the need to random access items. And this is also great for real time computing. Use it also when you don't know how big your list will grow or shrink. Prefer arrays for its random read and write capability. When memory is a concern or you know how big your list can get. If you are implementing a cache system or need quick iteration through your list for operations, and especially if the library or the framework you are working with has no support for linked lists. With that, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye bye.